Okay, so the second part of the pharmacokinetics of the IV anesthetics is to talk about the elimination of the IV anesthetics. So you give your patient an IV anesthetic through this, uh, this syringe for a certain period of time. And now your IV anesthetic is in his blood, his brain, his liver, fat tissue, muscles all over his body. Okay, and all of a sudden you decided to stop giving this IV anesthetic. You want your patient awake. The time required to get rid of this amount of drug in your body is what we are discussing here. And to understand that, we have to understand two important concepts, the elimination half-life and the context sensitivity half-life. The context sensitivity, the elimination half-life is the time required to get rid of 50% of a drug in your blood, okay? So the time required to get rid of 50% of a drug in your blood is the elimination half-life and it depends on many factors. Okay, the context sensitivity half-life is a newer concept that discuss when you give your patient a drug for uh, infusion okay for a certain period of time the time required to decrease the concentration of your drug from the affected site which is the brain in the case of the IV anesthetics is the context sensitivity half-life this is the context sensitivity half-life and which is an actually a computer model that uh, some uh, pharmacist made okay to discuss this uh, thing now let's get back to the elimination half-life the time required to get rid from 50% of the drug uh, from your uh, blood okay now there are many many factors that affect this elimination half-life the first of them is the concentration of drug you give okay so if you give a small amount of drug it differs from giving a huge amount of drug because when you give a small amount of drug your blood will have a small amount of drug and your liver will have a small amount of drug not all the receptors or the enzymes in the liver will be saturated with drug okay so the, the more the blood will go to your liver the more the metabolism will uh, happen okay and this is what we call the first order kinetic reaction okay the first order which means that getting rid of a drug in this case depends on the concentration of a drug okay because the receptors or the enzymes or the liver uh, uh, way to get rid of drug is not fully saturated on the other hand if you give a high concentration of a drug you will have what we call a zero order reaction which means that whatever uh, the uh, the process of eliminating the drug from the liver will not depend on the concentration because the receptors are already okay saturated already saturated as you see, can see here okay so this is the first thing the uh, concentration of the drug uh, this is the first factor that affect the elimination half-life of drug the second thing is the volume of distribution okay when you give a drug or an IV anesthetic it will go to your brain to your liver to your fat to muscles it will invaginate all your body or your skin depending on the time and the dose of drug you give okay and on the patient patient has a lot of fat tissue the volume of distribution will be more some drugs have more volume of distribution than the than the other, others okay so the more the volume of distribution by logic the more the time required to get rid of this drug okay the second thing is the or the third thing the first thing was the concentration of a drug the second thing is the volume of distribution the third thing is the protein binding the protein binding the more the protein bound is the drug okay the less the elimination half-life or sorry the more the elimination half-life because if let's assume that this is the drug molecule okay and this is the protein that binds that drug the liver will not be able to metabolize drug in this formula okay the liver is only able to uh, metabolize the drug in this free formula so the more the more the occupied the receptor uh, the drug by the uh, protein the less the metabolism of it okay so ketamine is uh, again 12 percent uh, protein binding uh, propofol 98% and most of the IV anesthetics is highly protein bounded okay so in, from this point of view they will take more time to be eliminated eliminated so now 
Okay, we talk about the volume of distribution, the dose of drug, the protein binding, and the last but not least thing is the hepatic extraction ratio. The hepatic extraction ratio. So you give your drug, and now it's going to deliver to be metabolized. Of course, if you have a drug that is highly metabolized in the liver, okay, highly metabolized in the liver, it will be eliminated in a shorter in a shorter half time okay so certain drugs have high extraction ratio just like propofol ketamine etomidate so these drugs propofol ketamine etomidate is highly extracted in the liver the liver is very capable of extracting and metabolizing these drugs so the more you give blood flow with uh, with these drugs okay the more the drug will be metabolized because if you give a liver a certain amount of these drugs it will be very capable of extracting them in a short period of time so it is flow dependent because it depends on the blood supply to the liver how, no matter how much uh, drug you give to the liver from these drugs okay it will metabolize them so the more the blood flow okay the more the extraction the more the metabolism of these drugs so they were called the blood flow dependent drugs okay the blood flow dependent or the perfusion limited limited uh, extraction of these drugs okay so always remember high extraction ratio propofol ketamine etomidate the more you give a blood flow to the liver the more the elimination of these drugs on the other hand the low extracted drugs just like theopental diazepam lorazepam the long acting diazepam uh, benzodiazepines sorry okay the uh, these drugs has low extraction which means that when you give the liver a small amount of these drugs it will take a long time to extract and metabolize these things okay so it doesn't matter how much uh, blood you are giving or flowing to the liver because it takes a long time to extract a small amount of these drugs okay so these drugs which with low extraction ratio uh, are capacity limited drugs capacity limited drugs again blood for flow dependent drugs are the high extraction extracted uh, drugs like propofol ketamine etomidate okay low extracted or capacity limited arthropental diazepam lorazepam again and of course uh, the dose the volume distribution protein binding hepatic extraction and of course the renal the renal function okay because when the drugs are metabolized in the liver they will go to the kidney in a water more water soluble uh, formula okay if the kidney function is severely deranged the drug will accumulate more in the blood and the elimination half-life will be a problem the elimination half-life will be problem okay now let's talk about a specific thing which is uh, elimination or half-life uh, with aging actually the elderly has a smaller central nervous system with age the central nervous system with, of the elderly will be atrophied okay and it will be smaller so when you give your drug okay a smaller doses are required to reach the hypnosis threshold okay on the other hand in the young or in, in the children specifically the central nervous system will be larger okay and it takes more dose more dose of drug to occupy the central nervous system okay so a smaller central nervous system in elderly which means that you require smaller doses to induce anesthesia in this age group okay smaller muscle compartments smaller muscle compartments actually the elimination half-life of drugs is not just getting getting rid of drug from the, the brain or the central nervous system it's true that when you decrease the brain concentration of drug below the hypnosis the threshold okay the patient will be awake okay will be awake but still he has deep deep tissues or less well perfused tissues like the fat tissues the muscle tissues the skin okay all these tissues 
will have a certain amount of drug that takes a long time to be uh, free of the, the this concentration of drug okay so if your patient is awake okay th this does not mean that he did eliminate all uh, his drug out of his body okay uh, still he has certain amount of drug in his fat tissue in what what is called the deep tissues okay so uh, in with aging we have a smaller muscle tissues okay uh, it takes less time to get rid of, uh, of drug from the muscles uh, because of its smaller t uh, smaller amount the redistribution of a drug from the brain to the muscles will be less so the second or the first awake of drug uh, awake of a patient after giving the first dose of drug will be prolonged prolonged because it's more of smaller muscle tissue muscle mass okay so i think this is all about the uh, elimination of a drug okay so the last thing is the steady state what do we mean by the steady state the steady state is when the rate of drug administration equals the rate of clearance of drug so you give this amount of drug okay and the liver is eliminating a certain amount of drug when these amounts are cert uh, are equal this is what we call the steady state the steady state okay so okay that's all thanks all the